Okay, so I thought I'd do a little test with the Woolland Toys A979 monster truck. Thought I'd take it to the car park, just do a little speed test, just to see how quick this little thing goes. And to see how long the battery lasts as well. So let's turn it all on, get it all ready, and take it away. That's pretty quick, I must admit, that is quick. Nice. It's got a bit of power. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's pretty quick. Once I get the suspension sorted out, that'd be quite nice. Not bad at all. Not bad. Okay, let's do a little range test, see what the range is like. So that's around, uh, that's probably 50 yards. So 50 yards, still good range, so that's okay. Let's bring it over here. Now there don't seem to be much traction on these tyres. I'm just going to quickly check everything's okay, check the diffs and stuff. Yep, that's okay. Seems fine. Let's take it away. As you can see, skids out. So for four-wheel drive, it does skid out quite a bit. Oh. Oh, yeah. Not a bad little truck. Not a bad little truck at all. Now, like I say, for what I paid, £30, not too bad. The gears on this thing, the standard gears on the uh Okay, that's okay. So yeah, so the gears on this version, the um A979 standard are not meant to be that great, but you can upgrade the gears, so I will upgrade the diff gear, pinion gear, maybe the main gear as well, so because they don't last that long apparently. Some people have said they've lasted reasonably long. Um, but others have said they've died pretty quick. So as you saw there, the brake, I did a brake and then it front flipped. Now that doesn't always happen. So I think the electric speed controller sometimes actually applies the brake too much. Um, because I'm trying to do it again and it's not doing it so but it has done it a few times so yeah see if I can get it to wheelie yeah wheelies a little bit look. That's... oh yeah cool little truck cool little truck it's quick it's pretty quick now on the box it states 31 mile an hour I don't think it's doing 31 mile an hour to be honest maybe 25 but that's quick enough. You can always upgrade it if you want. So yeah, I'm more than happy. What I'm actually going to do, I've been using it for what, five minutes? So I'm going to quickly check my phone. So I've been using it for around five minutes. So we'll see exactly how long the battery lasts. I probably won't do the video for the whole thing. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, test it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it here, cut the video, and then I'll restart the video again when the battery runs out and let you know exactly how long the battery lasts for. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of fun with this. I thought I'd do a little bit more filming because it is quite fun. Um, I've been bashing it around a little bit, rolling it, so I thought I'd do a little bit more video in. So here we go. As you can see there, when it hits something, it does tend to flip over quite a bit. But yeah, I'm happy. It's good fun. For 30 quid, worth the money all day long. Seems to land on its wheels okay. Now once I've sorted out the suspension, probably get it going a bit better. Make it a little bit less bouncy, because like I say, it does bounce, but some of that is because of how light the truck is.
See if we can get a little bit of wheel spinning. Nice, guys. Okay, I'm happy with this. Good little fun basher. Now it's nothing like obviously my Traxxas VXL models, but for a bit of fun, it's doing a good job. It's enjoyable to use, and it is pretty quick. I think getting a little jump going or something would be quite fun. And it's flat out as well. I'm going flat out. I want to see exactly how well the battery lasts going flat out. See what type of, uh, type of run time we get. Now like I say, it is using a 1100 MAH 7.4 volt lipo battery so higher capacity battery will make the run time a bit longer but I want to see exactly how long this one goes for so let's quickly check the uh, check my phone see what kind of time we've got again now so I started at around 8 o'clock so it's been going 10 minutes 10 minutes is not too bad nice it's a fun little truck to drive, I must admit. Nice. Now I do want to keep an eye on the diffs on this thing because like I say, there's been a few reports that the diffs are not that strong on this uh, so I want to see how well it goes but all of the parts are quite cheap to get hold of and easily available as well so if things do go not too right now as you can see the turning circle on this is not that great but when you're actually driving because it is such a light truck and the grip is not uh, it's not got a very aggressive grip on these tyres. Uh, it turns okay. The turning circle when you're actually driving, as you can see, that's full turning circle. It's not too bad. It is what it is, but being a small truck, obviously, you can get away with it a bit more. So let's take it out. Like I say, it's got good range. I'm very happy with the range on that. I think it's starting to slow down a tiny little bit so we'll see how much longer this battery lasts for. Oh. It's pretty quick for such a cheap model. Like I say, I pay £30 for this so £30 is quite cheap for a good little truck. Oh! Nice. And I'm not too right about the body shells to be honest because I think the body shells are around six quid for this thing so I'm not going to worry too much about breaking this at the end of the day. I just wanted a cheap little truck to bash around with. Sometimes having like trucks that are worth a good few hundred pound, it's all very well. But I tend to bash my trucks quite hard anyway. And my Traxxas trucks do cope with being bashed. That's why I got them. Um, but it's good to have a cheap truck sometimes. Why not? A bit of fun. As you can see there, <laughs> yeah, this Hope's is enjoyable, okay. I must admit, over. 30 pound truck, but yeah, the suspension is just not high enough to cope, it's a fun little truck to use, for this kind of surface, well, I do, we do I'll one more quick a one, go, then I quickly it's, it's inspect anyway, it, just make sure everything's so okay, so like up I say, this is its proper run, like road, and sorry. there we go, the battery has now died, so okay, so let's inspect the time, see what time of 
exactly what type of run time we got with this. 13 minutes, so 13 minutes flat out, not too bad. Okay then, so what I've actually noticed a little bit there, hopefully you can see one of the screws on the suspension arm is coming undone slightly. So what I recommend guys, when you take this out after each bash, just keep an eye on the screws, tighten up all of the screws, double check after every single one because you don't want to be losing screws because that's going to just be a pain to replace them uh, just for the sake of tightening them up after every one. So I do recommend that. Um, what I'm going to do now, I've got one of my drone batteries here. This is a 7.4 volt. It's only a 610 mAh battery. So it is uh, less in capacity than the um, Wallland Toys truck battery um, it is longer so it doesn't fit perfectly in the battery tray but i can get it in and with this strap um i can get it to work now i'm waiting for some more of these batteries to come so um while i'm waiting for them i'm going to be using some of my drone batteries and like i say it's going to half the runtime being less capacity but it's going to work okay let's pick it up now the motor, the motor is reasonably hot, not too worried about the temperature um, because that is um, a brush motor and they do tend to get quite hot. But yeah, as you can see, some nice scratches now on the actual body shell, but I don't care about that. Some scratches underneath. But yeah, I'm happy with that. It's lasted, bashed okay. As you can see, the plastic underneath it does uh, tend to shred a little bit, so the plastic is not that strong. But yeah, I'm more than happy. Fun little truck. So that's it for this one, guys. Happy RCM. Take care. Bye-bye.